So this is our boat now. Everything should be combined. In this video, I'm going to connect the SolidWorks geometry to this subject. So at the beginning here, we need to import our reference first, then we're going to connect our parts. So let's go ahead and import our references. And it's going to be these slenders and this rectangle here. Let me just move closer. Okay. Now we just have this fist left and we are good. Now the second step is I'm going to go to select my sub D geometry here, this edge, and I'm going to make it to edge. So as you see, it just connected successfully and everything looks great let me just make an override for it I'm gonna make this tangency so now it just looks tangent I can adjust it more to be more tangent maybe 1.4 okay so that looks better and I'm gonna accept that now let me go back and do the same for the others. This one to edge, or I can do just a bevel here, then make this bevel to the edge. So it's gonna be like it's just extruded or something. Okay, the same thing here. I'm gonna bevel it a little and go to edge. All right. Okay, looks looks good. And we have our big guy here at the top view. I'm going to try to make this connected to the roof. So I'm going to select my faces here. Let me just first hide this geometry to see it better and I'm gonna select this go to face so if you just see what the sub D mode when I just press on face it just go to face perfectly and I'm going to make this as a hard edge because I just need to fill it with the solid works um, next when I just convert it Alright, so that probably should be everything or almost everything. I just connected our SOLIDWORKS geometry with the constraints. So the next step is converting it. But before converting, we can see if we can just make a tangent relation here also. Small tangent. Okay. Looks good. And we have a hit of Y here. And for here I see it looks great. <clears throat> but we could also give it a tangency. Alright. Maybe tangent to ISO curves. And I'm gonna I'm gonna say that guy is to vertex. And this guy here maybe to vertex also. Yes. That's perfectly now constrained. 
Now let's go back and convert it. So here our port just convert it and everything just constrain it and it should be also from the other side and what I'm gonna do is just hiding this thing here and I'm gonna net the surfaces so let me just net this all surfaces and from here also Let me just use the section. Okay, so if I just need to create a solid part, all I'm gonna do is just go ahead and edit this future and create my solid. Now here we go. We got our solid but So you can see that perfect everything just connected successfully and we are all good now what about just making it just fill it here I'm just gonna fill it this guy and maybe seven millimeters okay and let's make a combine here I need to combine this ports first I'm gonna click add and another combine between these So what I need to do here is making a small fillet like this and maybe add the other side. Now I'm gonna hit apply and I'm gonna make another two fillets for those. Yo. Actually it looks perfect. Maybe if, if we just take it as a five millimeters. Let me see the results. Okay. Looks fair enough for me. Let me just add a color to make it better to view. It looks, looks great. So this is our boat now. Everything should be combined. And you can see the difference between the other side and this side. We just fold it. Of course we can add the materials. But you got the point. I hope you enjoyed learning something and that's for this video today. Thanks for watching.